welcome back to Teach Man to Fish channel. Today's video is going to be tenderloin, beef tenderloin, against venison backstrap. This will be a blind taste test. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll be putting these head to head as a part of our indoor grilling series. If you look right here, there'll be a playlist of the other videos that we've put into this series. The weather outside is, is cold, rainy. It's time to bring some of the grilling indoors. We're also gonna be covering a couple of other topics that you might find interesting. We're gonna be cooking this on an induction cooktop in a large cast iron square grill pan. And we're going to be limiting the ingredients for this basically down to salt and pepper. This hunting season, I've also been experimenting with a Japanese, and I'm gonna struggle to say this, Guter sauce, which is a Japanese beef dipping sauce. This is how you actually pronounce it, according to Google. You said it. So this backstrap has not been frozen. It came from a younger deer, so it's going to be much more tender than some of the older deer that we've gotten this season. And this is just a run of the mill, what you would pick up in the grocery store, touch on the expensive side. We'll go ahead and get that meat prepared. So now that we've got that venison backstrap prepped up, we'll go ahead and do the cook side by side. Same spices, same temperature in the same pan. We've got that pan smoking hot. We'll go ahead and start the cooking. I've got a feeling that this backstrap is gonna cook a lot quicker than this tenderloin because of the, the beef tenderloin is so much thicker of a cut. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll cook them appropriately. Especially with venison, I never want to get the interior above 120 degrees. That's one of the problems with cooking venison, is most people overcook it. Let's hope I didn't overcook that venison. I did have to pull it off, and now we'll let that sit and rest. You always take that meat off, let it rest, the meat relaxes, that juices settle out, stays in the meat. That's critical when you're cutting and slicing and preparing this a well-rested meat, those juices stay in it. You don't want it running all over the place. This is such an incredibly easy cook. With these two meats in the side-by-side -side test, this should be interesting to see what my family thinks of the different taste between the two meats. Yeah, that tenderloin was $20 a pound. I got it on sale a little bit cheaper than that. But some would say that that venison is more like $100 a pound, depending on how much you spend in the hunting woods. Now the way this is cut is critical as well. So in this venison, Obviously the grains run this way. We want to cut this at an angle. Chef's privilege. Against the grain. Now I can tell you, I'm going to have to Tell them to keep their eyes closed because my family will certainly see the difference between these two. And they may even taste the difference very quickly. So I'm gonna have to, have to ask them, when I say blind, literally, their eyes are going to have to be closed in order for this to not be easily, immediately identified as venison versus tenderloin, beef tenderloin. Now we'll get that Guterri sauce, put that in the middle for the dipping and we'll go from there. Now 
There's the sauce, nice and chilled down. Thickened up some, really simple sauce to make. Quarter cup of soy sauce. Quarter cup of mirin. And just to show you real quick what that is, sometimes this can be a little bit tougher to find in your grocery store in the Asian section, but that's what that is. Rice vinegar, eighth of a cup, and my favorite part, quarter cup of sake. And you know what, a little bit more for the chef. So we'll let that simmer for a bit. Once it simmers, pour it off into another container, put it into the fridge to cool down. That sauce gets served cold for dipping the beef and the venison into. This is obviously venison. I know, that's why they're gonna call it a blind taste test. <laughs> this is taste the meat and I'll feed you one, then I'll feed you two, and you remember the flavors and texture. My mouth is watering. And you decide which one you like better. Thank you. No peeking. This isn't a can you guess the meat game. This is a <laughs> which one tastes better. Okay, so no guessing the meat. texture could you tell a difference in the texture i could not not at all all right next all right all right i'm ready no peeking okay <laughs> this is horrible all right well no opinion yet that's just meat number one tell me when you're done with that one Meat number two. Can I open my eyes? Yes. I like number one. Venison. Cha ching. <laughs> you didn't switch them up. I didn't time. switch them up. <laughs> All right, who's next? All right, third contestant. Again, this is not guess the meat, this is taste the meat. And I'll feed you one, then I'll feed you two, and you remember the flavors and texture. My mouth is watering. And you decide which one you like better. Stay right over here. All right. All right, eyes closed. No peeking. Okay, no peeking. Open. Do I guess? Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Eyes closed. That one's a lot more tender. <laughs> mm. Number one or number two? Number two for sure. Beef! Two for venison, <laughs> one for beef. All right, who's next? Okay, you're gonna have to pull up the camera for this one. <laughs> Does it have to be adjusted? No, it's good, it's good. No, it's fine, it's fine. All right, eyes closed, no peeking. Got it. All right, open up. Okay. Thank you. Pretty tender. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's like a one. The second one? Mm. Beef! <laughs> <laughs> two venison, two beef. All right, now we get the tiebreaker. The queen of the house. Mrs. Teach Amanda Fish. <laughs> I think I know where this one's gonna end up. All right. No. Eyes closed. Being fed by me? Yeah. <laughs> what? I do this all the time. For great snack? <laughs> Open. Now shut up. I could get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> Open. Pick one. Did you feed me two different ones? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Eyes closed. There was a little bit of onion in that one. I saw it just as I was stuffing that in that mall. Beef wins it out. Oh wait, I don't even have to taste it. I'll take venison. It's a tie! <laughs> All right, we had one more contestant come in to give us their opinion. So, what do we have? Three, three. Three, three. No, I said it was a tiebreaker. I chose venison. Yeah. Oh, we were at three beef. Never mind. Right now we're at three beef, three venison. No pressure. <laughs> says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits and this is a playlist of my other indoor grilling. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.